This reminds me of this really cool thing that I can do with my legs. I know this sounds sketchy, but hear me out. All right, I'm no stranger to terrible tattoos. We actually have a few of them that we're going to look at first thing in this video. But I've also had some questionable tattoo ideas, okay? At the time that I was 19, I decided that I wanted to get a tattoo of Mr. Rogers in a World War II uniform. I also wanted him missing a leg and holding a sniper in one hand, a baby with George Bush's head in the other hand, and I wanted big explosions behind him. Yeah, that was my fucking brain fart. Thank God I had a cool enough tattoo artist that was like, nah, we're not doing that. But with that being said, we're getting ready to dive into some terrible tattoos that'll make that old b-hole pucker worse than the first time you ever bit into a warhead. Let's do this. All right, so first up on this list is a tattoo that is currently still on me because I've never been able to get it covered up because I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna cover it up with, okay? So this was supposed to be like melted skin with an eyeball in the middle of it and all that pink stuff is supposed to be muscle. I've had so many people ask me why I got the magic conch from Spongebob tattooed on my arm. It's a, uh, that's a fair question. A very fair question. <laughs> Alright, so this is a decision that I made on my own. I actually tattooed this on myself. Um, not this part, and not the spider webs, okay? But the misfit skull itself. Okay, I decided that I wanted to be a tattoo apprentice um, with no apprenticeship, okay? I was teaching myself for the most part. Um, so one night I was sitting around, I had a tattoo machine, I had some stencil shit and stuff. So I was like, yeah, I've listened to two Misfits songs. Let's fucking tattoo it on the top of our hands. So that's what I did. And um, that's what this is a result of, okay? This is a cover-up of a cover-up of a cover-up. And I'm not... I, I wish I was joking about that, but I'm not. Uh, somehow, I kind of feel like <laughs> that this was a better option than this. I mean, you can see the little geometric pattern in there, but other than that, it just looks like blue shit on the top of my hand. All right, so this questionable piece of shit. Um, remember how I told you I was trying to apprentice? Well, so was my ex, okay? <laughs> and um, nobody would let her tattoo them. So I was like, you know what, babe? Put a tattoo on me. Go ahead. Do it. So yeah, this was the result of it, okay? I don't know if you can tell or not, but this is not a broken heart, okay? This is a heart with like a, like a heartbeat monitor thing going through it um, with headphones on it, okay? But to me, it, it kind of looks like green testicles with earmuffs. If we just turn it upside down, you can see green testicles one long scraggly hair your muffs on the testicles but you know what people you got to keep your nuts warm and that's what's important here in the winter season all right so this is another x tattoo okay and i still have it too right there right there do you see it lovely fucking thing right there um yeah this was another one she was like i want to tattoo someone and she couldn't find anyone so i was the guinea pig okay <laughs> Don't let someone who's not a licensed tattoo artist touch you with a fucking needle, okay? Learn from my mistakes. Learn from them. Cherish them. Cuddle with them at night. Just know that if you let someone touch you with a needle that is not a fucking trained licensed tattoo artist, you're gonna get bullshit like this. Oh right, so this is another one that I did on myself. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so... Um, if you can't tell what it is, which I'm sure you can, even though it's a shitty tattoo, it kind of, you know, it's a heartogram from the band Him. Okay. And yeah, I was, I really liked Him back in high school. I still listen to them occasionally. But every time I look down at my leg, I still have this tattoo as well. Most of these tattoos I still have. Um, yeah. Questionable life choices. Okay, and this is another tattoo that the ex did on me. For someone who had never really tattooed a day in their life, she didn't really do like a terrible job, I guess. But still, if I would have went to a legit shop, Jack would not look like he's on meth. But we are in Tennessee, so it makes sense. All right. <laughs> so this is another one that I did on myself. It's just a shitty little tribal ass skull. And yeah, I... I <laughs> 
I don't even have any fucking words. Honestly, it's it's fucking patchy as shit. It's patchier than Michael Kelso's beard. Ha <laughs> boy patchy. <laughs> Alright, and this is my very first head tattoo. Okay. And um This was done by like a legit artist, and I'm not saying that this is necessarily like the worst tattoo I have, but um I don't really shave my head that often anymore. <laughs> Alright. So, this one is one that I did, okay? And, um, so here's the, the thing. Obviously, it's a shitty-ass tattoo, right? It's a, like a shitty little fucking tribal dagger with a halfway-finished rose. But right above it, what you cannot see in the picture, the date that I met my ex is right up here, okay? So I was supposed to get married, like, a few years after this. And um, I wanted to get the date covered up, but the tattoo artist was like, nah, bro, void stamp. And I still have the date that my ex and I met with a fucking void stamp just over it. That is the most redneck white trash thing I have on my body, other than my accent. All right, this one has a special story, okay? I traded a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> I traded a pack of cigarettes for this tattoo. I don't have this one anymore. It's actually covered up by um, a tree that's uh, on this side of my neck. But yeah, fucking cigarette tattoo right there. So this was my very first tattoo that I ever did on myself, okay? Um, so kind of what happened was I was new to the whole tattoo game and I didn't know that if you didn't let the stencil dry long enough, cause I let it dry for like, I don't know, man, like three or four minutes. And I was like, I was eager. I was ready to go and like, fuck it, let's do this. So I did the first tooth right here. You can see that, right? And then as soon as I wiped the excess ink away, everything from like here down just disappeared. So I got pretty loosey goosey with the teeth. And once again, it's a meth skull. Okay, I still have this meth skull. It's on my ankle. The one that we're kind of looking at right here is this blotchy ass Grim Reaper. And um, so kind of what happened here was I got eager and I found a really cool design that I wanted to tattoo on myself. The way the skin is right here on the arm, I had a really hard time doing the tattoo and it turned out looking worse than this, believe it or not. So I went to one of my buddies at the time and he was like, hey man, black Grim Reaper. And 19 year old mine was like, hey man, fucking let's do this shit all right so now that we're done looking at my shitty tattoos we're gonna look at other people's shitty tattoos okay let's jump right into this okay i have questions is this supposed to be like a galaxy or freckles uh, the the scorpion shit on her chest like i don't i don't understand what possesses a person to be like yo bro you know what looks sick on my tits? Black dots. All right, I've seen this one a few times, but it always legitimately cracks me the fuck up. Brawn to die. And here's my thing, I may have shitty tattoos, but I don't have anything that's misspelled, okay? How do you not look at it before you get the tattoo? Or if you do look at it, how do you look at a typo and be like, yeah, bro, that's it's fucking tight. Braun to die <laughs> and shit like this is the reason why I stay away from portraits okay I don't have a single portrait on my body except for like an Edgar Allan Poe tattoo on the top of my foot but it's like a silhouette of Poe it's not like an actual detailed portrait whoever tattooed this poor girl gave her like not even a five head man this is like a 47 head yeah she looks like a cone head a straight up cone head with pretty blue eyes but the cone head. Okay. Let's be honest for a minute. Not the worst fucking tattoo I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> I, okay, 31 year old Michael might not wear this tattoo. <laughs> okay, might, it's a strong might. If someone came up on me on the street and they're like, hey bro, can I tattoo like an image of a tiger with Charlie Sheen's head on it, just like ripping out of your fucking skin for free. And they did quality ass tattoos. Honestly, throw it on my face, man. Throw it on my face. Okay, let's be honest again. 
not the worst fucking tattoo I've ever seen. Okay? It is decent quality on this tattoo. And I'm not saying I'll ever get an armpit tattoo, but that is pretty fucking clever. And, okay, think about it this way. You're on a date. You know you have that under your armpit. You know that there's a chance that things are going to get a little bit freaky when you get home. You break out the cheese whiz and the whips, and then you take off the shirt to reveal the onion. <laughs> and I'm just saying, if they don't walk out, you might have a keeper. But if they bust out laughing, and they can't continue, you definitely have a keeper. This one I really don't understand. Believe in yourself and never lose hoop. Okay, it's no, the typos, the typos. I don't, I, they're a spell check for a reason. Again, with the fucking typos. Respect, respect. Okay, but let's talk about more of a concern to me than this tattoo. Look at homeboys fucking do. That is, it literally looks like he face fucked a peacock. So a few things about this one. Not the worst tattoo I've ever seen. But why does it make me want an extra large fry right now? Also, is this something that you use in the bedroom now? I'm genuinely curious. Like, do you ever just, like, walk into your room with, you know, either your wife or your fiancé or even, like, a new expected lover, right? And you just walk in crotch full of Krispies. Crotch full of Krispies. Is that... You know what? That's, that's the name of this fucking video. <laughs> scars don't heal. Hashtag Harambe. And I'll be honest with you, scars don't heal. Okay. Ah, uh, Harambe still rests in my soul. I'm gonna be honest here. I'd get this. I know it's stoop. I would get this so fucking quick. I really fucking would. Because I just want to walk out barefoot and just throw everyone off. This bucket list. See, here's the thing that really throws me off about guys like this, okay? They think they're a hard ass by having your puss on their back, but they don't even know how to correctly use the word your. And you know one of their homies did this. You know that one of their homies did this. Like, they drew on him with a sharpie for a stencil, even if they did use a stencil, okay? Even if they did use a stencil. But this has bathroom tattoo written all over it. And you know, like, leading up to getting this tattoo, like, it had to be something like this. Hey, bro, you know it'd be sick? No, bro, what? What would be sick? Tattoo on my back that says, you're a puss. You got a tattoo machine, right? Technically, my cousin has a tattoo gun. But we can do this. Man, thank you. I love you so much. Hi, bro, and hey, Tom. I got you. You know I do. I love you too, bro. And then they just share some kind of passionate... Let's move forward. Gonna look good when it gets done. Okay, so many fucking questions. Um, there's no fixing that. That's, that's, that's not a question. That's just a fucking statement, period. This is never gonna look good. That's never... Oh my... God, that looks like a Down Syndrome bowling ball. So I know that this is supposed to be like four roses, I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But to me, it looks like... It looks like someone just took like four different drawings of Rhinehorn like from Pokemon and just slapped it on this woman's back and just chiseled the fuck out of him. That's what that looks like to me. I love just the irony of this shit. I know that this was not purposely done but how can you confidently take I'm guessing this is an engagement photo I don't know regrets and then just boop. <laughs> okay this just kind of looks like the universe took like a cosmic hate shit on this woman's chest. And that's all this can be. That's literally all this can be. Well, Benji's looking a little bit worse for wear here, okay? He's been in way too many hooker asses. He's probably been used to wipe the blood away from a coke addict's nose. And looks like he misses Harambe as well. So I'm all for a couple tattoos, okay? Uh, my fiance and I just recently got some. We got the little, I don't know. got the uh little smiley face tattoos okay that way when we hold hands they join up and everything but this literally looks like both of them were sharing a stall and there was no toilet paper in there and both of them simultaneously stood up and was like i'll wipe your ass with my hand if you wipe my ass with your hand and this is the fucking end result that's shit tattoo straight up shit tattoo the only thing I hate about this tattoo is the fact that I didn't think of it first. And I'm still tempted. I don't have any tattoos on the thumbs, and I don't have any tattoos that run up. I mean, I do have tattoos that run up, like, here. 
but still, those can be covered. I don't care. Some of them are sentimental. Fuck it. I want suspenders. Okay. It's not a great tattoo. It's not a terrible tattoo. It's not a great tattoo. But the thing that really throws this shit off is the fucking placement. There's just a fucking ear coming out of this poor guy's head. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. A year ago, this could have easily been me. This could have easily been me. And they're not terrible tattoos. They're just questionable tattoos. they are I mean, from a distance, they look like they're done pretty well. So I'm not... <sighs> I don't necessarily have anything negative to say other than why okay this is another one that i'm jealous of i want it i just i want it okay i know that this is a dumb tattoo okay i am well aware that this is a dumb tattoo but at the same time you're at a party okay and you're a little bit tipsy and you remember that you have this tattoo all of a sudden you rip your shirt off and you start making like fucking race car noises oh, no, 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 no. and all of a sudden you're the life of the party i'm that my chest I'm lasering everything off getting this and the suspenders done you know what i'm gonna have suspenders the little dude on my chest is gonna have suspenders it's 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 gonna be amazing we found harambe so okay obviously this tattoo is terrible but this reminds me of this really cool thing that i can do with my legs i know this sounds sketchy but hear me out all right you see the light And that's what this tattoo reminds me of. And that only took 45 takes. All right, guys, on that note, that will just about do it. If you made it to the end of this video, fucking thank you. Um, yeah, as you see, we rebranded, okay? This is solely like my little YouTube thing, but Jim is still gonna be joining me. Nintendo is still gonna be joining me. We're still gonna be doing stuff together. So yeah, stay tuned for all that stuff and stay tuned for more videos like this if you like this one. And as always, stay fucking awesome. Bye, guys.